So far, we're handling them for pretty okay. Just gotta keep, just gotta keep at this. Don't let my guard down, ever. Oh jeez. Oh, he got me twice there. Oh, three times. He's almost dead. He's almost dead, guys. Come on, we got this guy. Oh jeez. All right, all right, all right, everyone. My name is Echo Tango, and welcome back to Terraria. So, as you can definitely tell here, we have found ourselves a pyramid. I actually happened to find this from the underground, as you can tell, where it's right here. I found this by doing a lot of exploring. And yep, this pyramid is completely buried in the desert, so I would not have known it existed in the first place had I not found it in the underground. So I thought I'd just want to go ahead and show you that. Ah, here we are. Here's the treasure room. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. Pharaoh's mask and Pharaoh's robe. Nice vanity set. Not my favorite. I was actually hoping for something better, but you know what? We'll take as it is. So, other than that, I've just been doing a lot of exploration, just, well, of course, just of the underground, and of course, that obviously means a lot of off-camera work, and here, you can tell, this is how buried the pyramid is. So, yeah, a lot of off-camera work, as I was saying, um, some of my inventory is a little different. I found a compass underground, of course, by killing enemies, and also I went ahead and equipped myself some gold armor, and I bought this G off the traveling merchant when he visited, and I, and I also made the sunglasses. I think, did I make the sunglasses last episode? I can't remember. Also, I should, I don't know why I completely forgot about this, but I had a sapphire hook this whole time, because I made it last episode, but I completely forgot to tell you guys about that. But anyways, what's on our agenda for today? Well, I would actually like to, first and, sh first and foremost, show off a few other new things I found in the past. I'm gonna first go ahead and try to look for it. I found a gem tree down here first and foremost. So let's go ahead over go ahead over there now. You know, I really hate it when I happen to find all this new stuff, but I'm not recording at the time for me to show you guys because I had either finished the episode or it, it just happens that way, right? Or I'm just doing off camera work other time. You know, just to prepare for future episodes. Alright, so here we are. Here's this interesting looking gem tree that we found. Let me go ahead and take care of this crawdad first. Very annoying little critter, isn't he? Oh, Jesus. Took a lot of my health off. And so, apparently, these things, they just grow underground. And you can just, of course, just like any normal tree, take an axe to it, chop it down. What do we get? So we got sapphire gem corn, sapphire... And some, well, no, no, just just these two things, and also some stone. I just I noticed it dropped some stone. And so, from what I come to understand, is that you actually have to plant those underground. So that's actually kind of a nice way to farm some gems. If you, since they're they're not the easiest things to find, but that's actually really nice that the devs are actually letting this happen. We can go ahead and farm gemstones, and that's actually really nice for mage players. Because mage players have to always start off with some gem weapons, gem staffs, gem robes, and all that. Another thing I found down here, let's see if I can take it to you guys, is... Oh, there's another gem tree down there. I should go... I'm probably gonna go and chop it up another time. Well, well, other than the, uh, the granite biome that I found here. There's, um, something else entirely. It's all this. Oh, I just found a... Let's see if I can try to mine this as fast as possible without drowning. Okay, so, yeah, we found this really interesting looking glowing moss area down underground. This is actually how much it encompasses. That's quite a lot. Some of it, some of it, is, filled with, some of it is filled with water, others is not filled with water. Interesting to find it by a mushroom, not mushroom, but a granite biome. And, well, that's pretty cool, I thought. But I'm just gonna do my thing first, and then we're gonna head back up, and I'm gonna let you guys know what the agenda is for today. Alright guys, we're back at home here, and let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the day and what I'm planning to do for this episode. So first thing I would actually like to do is I'd actually like to have a goblin invasion, because I think, you know what, it's about time we should get some goblins, get a goblin tinkerer, start working on our accessories here, because what we have so far, it's nice, but combining it all together would be even nicer. Also, um, another thing I would like to do after the Goblin Invasion is fight our first boss, and I'm thinking I have Cthulhu right now. But, we could also- if we have time, we might be able to do King Slime. I do have something at the re I do have a Gold Crown at the ready, I just need to go over to the- to a Crimson Altar. 
But, um, and another thing... Or, actually, about the Crimson Altars. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and make another slime crown, or another gold crown, just in case. Because you never know. You never know how tough these bosses are gonna be. Now, here's the thing about the Crimson Altars, is that I look around my map, there is not a single Crimson Altar anywhere in my vicinity. And the only Crimson Altars I do know of are in the Crimson Biome. Unfortunately, that's the case, which means we have to head over there anyway. But, we do actually need to head over there anyway, because... One of the conditions for a, um, goblin invasion is that we actually have to destroy a Crimson Heart. So, of course, we actually do have legit reasons to go over there, which is nice. And, of course, the other condition would be 200, 200 health or higher. I haven't stopped piling a bunch of Crystal Hearts. So, that's always nice. And, of course, that's what I've been doing off-camera, of course. So... Once we get back to the base, and after I've destroyed that, um... Destroyed a Crimson Heart, and also made some Slime Crowns, then we'll go actually go ahead and consume all those, um, Heart Crystals, and then hopefully we'll get a Goblin Invasion to occur. This may- this may take some days, so I'll probably be- I might have to do a lot of skipping. Dang it. Ah, get out of the way, you slime. Dang it. Ah, long journey, isn't it? Unfortunately, that's the case. Also, another thing I did off-camera was I made a lot of Jester arrows. I mean, a lot. Look how many. 943 we're at right now, which is pretty impressive. So, I'll just be on my way over to the Crimson Biome. Come on. I just have to try to... Weave my way around here. Okay, so now we're finally in the Crimson. Man, thunderstorming out there. Okay, now I got to make my make my slime crowns. I got to make my slime crowns. Okay, find a nearest Crimson Heart. Found a nearest Crimson Heart. Bomb it. Okay, we made it to the Crimson Heart, guys. Jesus, who knew that these operations could be so difficult? But man, we got our Crimson Heart. Horrible chill goes down your spine. We got an unreal under- Unreal? That's the best upgrade for an Undertaker or for any gun you can get. Holy cow, guys. We did it. <laughs> it was a dangerous mission, but we finally got to our, um, what's it called? Our Crimson Heart. But, yep, yeah, so that's we- but one of the conditions, um, so Crimson Heart, and then the last thing I need to do is consume all these heart crystals. I got 14 of them. But the thing is this. I don't want to fight the Eye of Cthulhu just yet, because if I consume all of them now, I'll have the chance of fighting the Eye of Cthulhu tonight, and I don't really want that. So I'm actually going to wait till tonight to consume the Heart Crystals, and then we'll skip to the Goblin Invasion, should there be one. But, since we are here, there's one thing I did promise last episode that I go over with, and that's actually these new NPCs. So Becca, the zoologist here, she's a new person to this update. She says, for real, I can't stand being wet. It's gross. So let's see here. Here's what she sells. So she's actually someone who's actually going to sell you, well, some, uh, some, of course, animal related stuff. But also, this leather whip here is actually a summon weapon, which is really interesting. Now, I don't know if we're going to do a summon. But I don't know if we're ever going to do a summoner setup or summoner playthrough as part of this game. I'm not sure. But that's actually a good start for summoners, which I thought was nice. Also, all these NPCs actually have a sort of happiness right here, which you can click on. So they all have their, um... Well, first of all, they all have their personalities. But they all have their preferences, such as who they want to be with, or what kind of biome they want to live in. So, for example, Becca here, she says, Eek, I hate feeling worried about what will happen with all these people around. I love animals, and naturally the forest is like the best place ever. Yes! I don't like how cruel Danny the Angler is. So, they all have preferences with other NPCs, have preferences with their biomes, so like, Becca here, she likes, she likes the forest, but she hates Danny the Angler. Not sure if she, if there's any particular NPC that she likes. Uh, some of these things they will review to, reveal to you, other things they may not necessarily reveal to you. Let's go to say hi to our, to our arms dealer here. If you time it right, no one will hear your gunshots with the thunder, uh, because it's thunderstorm. Right now. And his happiness is... Hey, I can't do what I do with so many people watching me. Think Caleb, there's Severin, you know, checks me out. 
I really like to use Dirt and Demolitionist as a ranged target sometime. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. But so, like like I said, personal preferences, like example, Tyrone, he like he likes it there. And actually, that was definitely hinted at um, even before this version. So I thought that's just something cool, something new this update has for us. But anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and wait this day out. And hopefully, um, a goblin invasion will happen. Alright guys, Goblin Army is coming. The Goblin Army is coming guys. We have to go to war. It's approaching from the east. Prepare to back down the hatches boys because we got an army coming. So as you can tell I'm actually putting those blocks in front of every door or all the exterior doors just to prevent the, gob just to prevent the goblins from breaking them down. I'm not gonna leave this door. I'm not gonna leave, not gonna block that door off because that's this is where I'm gonna come out, and of course they're riding from the east. So come on, goblins, wherever you are, I'm ready. I'm ready for you guys. Come on. They'll take some time to come, but they'll be coming eventually. Eventually, I know some of them will spawn inside the base. You know, the summoners in particular. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Man, look at them. They they got new sprites and they look so cool. Oh, they're flanking from my from behind. But we're gonna be basically just gonna heck, use this tendon bow with all the with all the um Now you're a tanky one, aren't you? Watch out. I know I know this guy behind me. Jesus man. Let's try our best to hold them off, of course. Jesus, man. Right behind me, huh? Coming right on behind me, huh? Yeah. Alright, let's see what else you guys got. What else you guys got, huh? Jesus, man. Oh. Flank me from the behind, I can tell. I can tell. I'm gonna, go th I'm gonna go through these chests of arrows really fast, I can tell. Yeah, they're trying to get at me. But I'm strong. I can take care of them. Jesus, he got me there. Yeah, I'm going through these arrows really fast. I actually do have an ammo box that I got from the, um, from the, what is it called? From the gob from the traveling merchant. I could, I should have just used that before I did this. I don't know why I didn't do that. Why did I do not do that? So far we're handling them for pretty okay. Just gotta keep, just gotta keep at this. Don't let my guard down. Ever. Ever. Okay, they're flanking me. Oh, Jesus, they're actually getting to me, huh? Jesus, right behind me. Come on. That was close. Man, he got he man, that guy sniped. Oh jeez, okay. Oh, oh Yeah, we actually had a pretty good run there. 77% cleared before before I got killed there, which is nice. Man. They're a lot tougher than I thought. Oh jeez. The warriors are 330 health alone. Alright. Heal. Let's go. Defend them from the house. Defend them from this house. We'll do this. Okay, we'll be able to hold them back now. These chests of arrows do do as well. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus, man. Some of their some of their archers are actually really good at what they do. <laughs> so let's just use this. Now let your guard down. Except there is an archer back there. Oh, we got him! We took care of him. The army has been defeated. Only now, only the last few guys here will try to take me out, but let's see who's stronger, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we did it, guys! Oh my gosh, we took care of the army. What did we get? We didn't get a whole lot from him. We just got these spiky balls. Should have used my ammo box. I should have used it. I don't know why I didn't get to use it. But now with the army defeated, that means we can go ahead and find the Goblin Tinkerer. So I'm going to take care of a few things, and then we'll go find him. Oh, found him! I found a guy! Oh my gosh, there you are, Mr. Goblin. Thanks for freeing me, human. I was tied up and left by all those other goblins. Or, left, left, up and left here by all those other goblins. Hey! You can say... Oh dang, you can say that they obviously didn't get along, obviously. Now that I'm outcast, can I throw away like, spike balls in pockets here? Anyways, let's go ahead and shop and finally get the Tinker's Workshop, guys. I've been looking for this for so long. Let's go ahead and get the ruler as well, and the rocket boots. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And actually, let me see if I can get this worm, because I like getting worms. Hmm, hold on a second. Let me see if I can get this worm. And... Gotcha. All right, now let's head back up to base so we can finally put this all together. Yes, I've been searching everywhere for that guy for some reason. Man, I don't know why it took so long to find. Sometimes they take a while, sometimes not. Anyways, accessories, accessories. Let's see what we can do. So we actually can make tiger climbing gear, which is nice. Wild tiger climbing gear. And then let's see what else we can do. Hmm. Can I do something with boots? Or do I have to take it out? Oh, I have to take it out first. Okay, Spectre Boots. Wait, Spectre Boots? Yeah, Spectre Boots, guys. And let's see what else we got. We can have Arbor Gold Watch. I can actually turn that and turn this, this, and this into the GPS. Angry GPS. That's perfect, actually. Hmm. And then the Tiger Climbing Gear. But I'm not sure what else I can... What, why can I put away? Oh, Shoe Spikes. I actually, I don't know. I like the extra damage, though. Hmm. Well, I would like to like for him to get to get moved in as soon as possible. Where would I put Where would I put him, though? Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Let's move him there then. I hope he comes by soon because I'd like to get some stuff reforged, of course. Oh my gosh. You understand that that goblin invasion, though. I was surprised we did as well as we did. I thought it would go a lot worse, actually, but... Man, it worked out pretty well. Anyways, I hopefully the Eye of Cthulhu will not spawn tonight. I'd be really bad if he did. And hopefully, um... Our Goblin Tinkerer can move in as soon as possible, because that would be nice. Alright, Mr. Goblin Tinkerer, let's see if you can reforge some stuff for me, please. Actually, hold on a sec. What's your happiness? Proudly triggers bad memories of Goblin War Camps. I really hate it. I have to see the dry trader understands how fun it is to make things together. I can respect that. Alright, well, I hope your reforges aren't too pricey. I don't know if I want that Shroomerang anymore because these other weapons are good. First, the Tendon Bow. Let's see what you got. So quick. Strong. Nah. Lazy. Strong again. Lethargic. Staunch. Yeah, I'll take Staunch. I'll, I'll take that for now. I don't know if I want to keep the Shroomerang, though. Hold on a second. What's up with the lighting? Whoa. What's up with all this? It's like, they're like paper lanterns, almost. That's really cool. Oh, huh, I thought that was interesting. Now, is that what I want to go with? Do I want to stick with these weapons? And hopefully keep up to the keep up keep the force. I mean that force will try to actually really helps me out in the water. You know, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, force will try to damage demonic. Okay, I'll, I'll take demonic. They're about the same thing, but actually this is still close range though. But um, 
it actually does get up that does actually manage to get a lot of hits in in the long run which is nice anyways let's um make a few more jester arrows and let's go ahead and put the weapons away yeah i hope this didn't break the bank i really hope not yeah we still got a lot of money and we're still fine but anyways we got upgraded weapons and you know what, guys? I think it's time to fight the Eye of Cthulhu! Yeah! I'm ready! I feel ready for this, guys. I really do. Anyways... Let's get this summon out. Um... We should have enough health potions for this. Um... Potions, potions... Let's go with... One second. Let's go with regen, swiftness, iron skin... Is there anything else? Night vision, sure. Archery, yeah, archery is good. Um, alert. No, I don't think I need hard reach for this. All right, cool. That's all the potions we'll need. All right, let's go out. I'm excited, man. Oh man, it's been a long time since I actually fought this guy to play on a on a playthrough. So man, I'm really excited, guys. All right, here we are at the arena. I should have actually, actually should have pointed that out, but I did make the arena off camera, of course. I need to zoom out for this. Alright guys, I have Cthulhu, buff up. First actually let me take care of this guy first. Alright, I have Cthulhu, here we go! Now where are you? Where are you? Let's go. I see you, I see you. I probably should have, um... Yeah. Okay, now he's summoning those eyeballs. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. Oh, we got a hit there. I should have just... Come on, let's go, let's go here. He should be transforming sometime soon, I don't know how soon though. Oh, there we go, now he's transformed, now he's transforming. Oh, he's laying about a bunch of eyeballs. Oh. What the heck? Jesus. Oh, nice shots, nice shots there. Oh, oh Jesus. Nope, nope, that's bad. bad. Bad position to be in, bad position to be in. He's dashing, just like expert mode I thought he would. Oh, that's right, he doesn't... Why is that zombie still there? Get that guy out. Jesus, man. Come on, come on. We got this guy. We got this guy. Oh, dashing. He's dashing. He's dashing. On, I don't know how much health he's just, this guy's got left. Man, holy cow. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jesus. He got me there. He got me there. Come on. Oh jeez, he's going fast, he's going fast, he's going fast, he's going fast. Alright, he's going fast. Come on, we got this guy. We got this guy. Oh jeez. Oh, he got me twice there. Oh, three times. He's almost dead, he's almost dead, guys. Come on, we got this guy. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm starting to lose healthy. Oh, we got him! Oh my gosh. Whew, let me get back to base there. Man. Oh man. It's been a long time since I had an Eye of Cthulhu fight that intense. Last time I actually had it that intense was Revengeance Mode. Oh man, and Revengeance Mode is something else. Oh, we also got Aviators. This is actually exclusive to either Export, Expert Hardcore or All of Master, so that's pretty awesome. Enables your inner wingman. Great for personating streamers. So now we got ourselves some new glasses. I take those new glasses any day. We also got an Eye of Cthulhu relic, and this is actually exclusive exclusive to Master. I'm surprised. I actually didn't use any healing potions, man. And let's see what is in the treasure bag. Got a mask. I always like masks. 
And we got the usual stuff, so Crimson Seas, Crimson Ore, and also Arcane Shield of Cthulhu. Yep, the expert mode thing. I don't know where exactly I put that. I'll put it, because this is an important thing. I'll put it right there and move this back here. All right, guys. Man, we did it. I gotta say, that's, we had a pretty exciting episode today, guys. And also, I forgot to mention that um, there are also, um, what is it? What do you call them? Exclusive pet items for Master Mode. For each each um, boss has an exclusive pet item. Fortunately, we didn't get it because there's not a 100% drop chance for the exclusive pet. But you know what? That's okay with me. We'll still have other chances with other bosses, of course. But with this, I think... I think we've had a pretty good episode today, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here, guys. So thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below, let me know how I'm doing. And if you want to see more of my content, why not hit the subscribe button. It'll help out me, it'll help out you. So once again, thank you all. Until next time, I'll see you around.